So it looks like these guys have been digging up the fairy mounds as well. Wow. Wow, that's quite amazing. I'm quite actually chuffed that they've done this actually. Oh, he's left his spade here. That's good. Is he still down there? Wait a minute. No. Nope. Must be having his dinner somewhere with the fairies. So it looks like they've dug all that out. That's good. Probably put it all back in. At least it gives us an idea of what the stones are like, doesn't it? Nice little wall that actually. It's going to be a bit thicker. So there's some nice bits of... Mont, wait. Mont, wait. And tea. As per usual, the dogs are trying to trip me up. Some nice little pebbles there, look. So where we're going now, I'm going to just walk over this little red brick road. And instead of going up along the path there, where Alfie's going, that's where everybody walks. We're going to walk two trees in. One, two trees in. And follow the holly. Always follow the holly. So Monty's eager, and what you'll notice in a minute, you can see where the other path is going along there. But this would have been the ancient path, the path of the ancients, because you're walking on mounds now. There's the green heart stone. I'd call that a Celtic heart or a Druid heart. The Celtic word being a Roman word for Druid. So there's another marker stone. We know that is um, east. That's west. The stone over there is south. And the stones over there is north. So we've got a nice rounded stone there with the heart alignment. Got the snake chamber there. Here we've got a beautiful fish stone. You can see where it's been hanging out of the ground. You can all also see some formation pattern to how these stones have been laid. We've got a beautiful north pointer stone there. It's a nice oval shaped stone. So we've got the oval, we've got the heart, we've got the snake, the spiral snake, okay? We've got the southern marker and the beauty The beauty of that southern marker is me. It's got markings like a B-shaped mark. Well, it's now, now I've cleaned it off and I'm looking at it. It's more lozenge. It's a lozenge mark and it's got a nice cut mark there. It's got a nice straight edge there. You can see another straight edge there. 
nice straight edge there so obviously the the intentionally placed stones okay Monty. so obviously these stones have either been replaced or they're reused probably a reused um, beaker period chamber which was once early neolithic and this is what they did this is what they did now the age of this i don't know we have got a southern marker stone down there and that is a pentagram shape we've got a cut cut marks just on the side there and when you look at it from above it's got a straight edge there a straight edge there a straight edge there and a straight edge there so we have got effectively a cross but not only have we got a cross but we've got a cross with a west notch and a cup ring marked to the east okay now i knew it had a pattern to it and i know quite a few of these stones have got some interesting patterns on them wait a minute we've got a nice pattern there we've also got a nice cut out there which is the snake's head don't forget this 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 is the coiled serpent now the coiled serpent comes from the norwegian sagas so perhaps it's got some norse influences you know it could be a norse burial you can see now that that area is raised up quite quite dramatically this is an ancient british woodland this would have been here since time began it gets filled with english bluebells in the spring absolutely jam-packed far more in here than what there is at Worley so I should imagine this this woodland you know um, probably predates the woodland at Worley so here we've got the west stone now I have been cleaning these stones up slightly I have blessed them this is the pentagram stone if Monty lets me look at it. So I'll just clear the I'll just clear the Yes, that tastes beautiful, Monty, doesn't it? So there's the pentagram stone, you can see the pentagram. It's got five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Um, it has got like a star detail here, it's like been cut out, I don't know whether the camera is going to pick that up. Okay, so there we've got a little star, now that star points east, so it could be a eastern star, sorry just getting the dogs. It could be an Eastern Star ref reference. So what I'm doing today with the dogs, I'm not going down into the stream in the water. I'm going to keep the dogs clean today. Um, I am going to be going... I'm going to be going south, actually. I'm going south. And I doubt if I find any stones. I think if there are any more stones to find in this chamber, they're all here because they're littered just all along there which is in line with this one actually there are further stones it's like it's like if somebody's been planting some of these woods woods up probably about 50 years ago i believe um they've just basically moved the stones out of the way if there was a stone chamber they'd just leave it wouldn't they i mean if you if you're digging down with your spade you're not you don't want extra work do you 
what I've noticed on some of these trees are some beautiful mushrooms. Absolutely full of mushrooms actually. And I think these are oyster, oyster, oyster mushrooms. Lovely and round. I might pick some of those off actually and have some. And they grow into these big things here. I think those are oyster mushrooms. Oyster mushrooms. Right, there's some more stones I've just seen another one. Um, Monte, don't disturb the mushrooms. Come on. Oi. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. So we're having a quick, short walk today. We're only out for an hour. I'm not getting them wet. We're not going down to the stream. There's another stone there, it could be nothing. There's another one there. There could be more. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. More stones here, look. We've got more stones here. I'm going to have to look around this area. Another one there. Some more there. Don't forget we're right at the side of the river. Not sure what river this is, I'm sure. I think it'll be the colder. I think it will be part of the colder. I'm gonna have to have a look on the map. So the ancients would have been living at the side of the river, wouldn't they? And they would build whatever they had to build. And don't forget, all these fields wouldn't have been there then, it would have been more forest. I have to go down there and have a look, check it out. Obviously, some of those stones must have been ancient burial cairns, probably.